shown you how to use File, Association Info, Class Library. This library is used to associate file extensions such as .text or .doc with appropriated programs. Like if you'd want to associate the .text with Notepad or EditPad Pro or anything out there. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a console application to associate different files. I'm not going to show you exactly how to get user inputs, I'm just going to show you the basics. You can branch out from there. Included in this video, um, in the description, I will be posting where you can download Source, the class library, a bunch of how-tos on how to do most of this stuff. Uh, if you're still new with Visual Basic, you might want to look back and forth on this to figure out how to import DLLs or co different code libraries. First we're going to start off by wanting to go to start or file new project. We can name our project pretty much anything. Today we're going to name it file example and of course we want it to be a console application. Once the module has loaded and it says submain, open bracket, close bracket, and sub, this is the location where you can type in most of your key features. As soon as the program opens, it will run this main attribute. Before we type anything in the submain, we want to go to project, add reference. Once your add reference dialog box appears, you notice that you have .NET, COM, Projects, Browse, or Recent. I'd like you to go into Browse, select the location of your extracted code library, and like I said, you'll be able to have all these code libraries as source code these libraries were not made by me, they were made by Brendan Grant. Um, you can look up some of his codes and such on Code Project. After you have added your reference, you want to go up and declare it. Above module, module 1, you want to type imports. imports Brendan Grant dot helpers dot dot file association after you declare your imports you can then start writing code for it now the declare to declare this file association info you're going to want to type dim anything you'd like. For right now I'm going to type G file for get file space as new file association info open bracket quote and then the extension. For right now I'm just going to use dot text. Now once you have that declared, you can start writing code for the file association info. You're going to want to type, you're going to want to create the file association, so you type gfile.create, open bracket, quote. Your program ID as string would be the ID of the program such as um, notepad end quote and bracket all that does is it creates the dot text document and then it references it to notepad 
After that, you can create the Open With menu. When you right click the document, the text document, it will have Open With. Some programs and text documents and other documents have Open With. So you're going to want to create that right click menu. Type gfile dot open with list. Equals new string open bracket close bracket. Not really sure what those are called, but if you need them, need to know what they're called, I'm not really sure. I'll probably include it in the description. Um, for right now, I'm just going to call them another bracket. And then you're going to want to type in that little bracket quote notepad.exe. End quote. Out of the little bracket, end it. You can type in as many as you want, such as Notepad, WordPad, Microsoft Office, Word, um, OpenOffice, anything you'd like. You can associate documents just for your programs. Like if you have a program that declares variables, you can have it dot variable. You'd separate each different item with a comma, space, new item, end quote. Simple. That is the basics. That is how you create it in Visual Basic. It's simple, easy to use. Notice you don't need much code, and you're pretty much done. You can test your project, but I do warn you, if you do test this project, it will replace the dot text open with. So I don't think you should test it. Try filling in your own variables or strings, and then you can test your project.